can't get to where you want to be from there. Right. Next. <laughs> I need guidance. <laughs> well, the guidance is you got to feel different. And the guidance is you can't feel different while you're looking right at that. But you're sort of inclined to look at that. And we spend all day, every day, and all of the words that we offer, wanting you to realize that you don't have to look at that. And so that doesn't have to control the way you feel. But when that's what your habit of thought is, then there's a momentum going there. It's like the analogy that is our favorite for this is the roads in San Francisco. Esther will remember her amazement when she first saw those hills and realized that people were driving on them. And so imagine being at the top of one of those hills and you look at the road and it just looks like a roller coaster down there. And imagine putting your vehicle at the top of the hill and taking it out of gear and taking all of the braking system off and then just deciding that you're just going to nudge it a little bit from behind to see what happens. And you know what's going to happen. It's going to get going. Gravity and inertia and momentum are going to happen and it's going to go faster and faster right down into the bay. So as you realize that's not the outcome that you really want, you could get on it early and get out in front of it while it's just barely beginning and it would just bump you and it would stop and all would be well. Or you could be down there at the bottom of the hill waiting for it and try to stop it before it goes into the water. But it's harder to stop once more momentum goes. And so you've got enough momentum because you're human and most people are focusing upon what is right now. And the entirety of your vibrational attitude about this is based upon what you're looking right at, compounded by somebody else who's looking at it too. So what this scenario says to us, the way you explained it was really helpful, is that when you were standing in your own vibration, that you were more in sync with your desire there was less resistance within you and it's because what you would call the risks were all yours and you weren't that worried about it and it started small and it grew larger and larger you didn't get your business bigger than your business and so it was more of a joyful journey and then when it got bigger because there wasn't enough momentum in the vibration of it to attract the partner that was equivalent to yours you attracted someone who introduced resistance where it hadn't been before because there was more risk because it was that person's money and so as that person felt more risk then that person offered influence that you fell under now you didn't need to and it doesn't matter that you did but it does matter that you don't continue to be under that influence you got to get out from under that influence and you can't get out from under it by wishing that it hadn't happened because it has that'd be like being at the bottom and wishing the car wasn't going to plow over the top of you it's going to plow over the top of you the laws of the universe aren't going to change or adjust themselves to the outcome that you want. The laws of the universe are going to work the way the laws of the universe work. And you have to work within those, which means you have to get out from under the influence of worry and maybe even blame and certainly guilt and get back under the influence of exhilaration about your business. If it worked once, it can work again. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense for something to be viable and successful in one regard and then not in another. And it's because there are other factors that are part of the equation that you must understand what they are. Whether it's been the influence of success is the dominant influence or the influence of worry are the dominant influence. So what are you going to do? What do you do when you're standing right in the middle of it? Wouldn't it be nice to start all over again? Because then you know better. Well, here's the truth of it all. You are always starting all over again. In every moment, you are new unto the universe. In every moment, you can establish a new point of attraction. You could meditate and clear your vibration and be new like you were in the very first place. But most humans don't do that. It's like our friend said, you get new and then you get old again. You get new, you get forward looking, and then you get past looking. I feel guilty for doing what you're saying. That's what I feel. And my business partner would never intentionally want to make me feel that way. Well, stop but that's saying what happens. That, just saying that to us, we're just going to read this clearly. And we want to really give you something because everybody relates to it in one way or another. But we really want you to hear this. You stated that with such fervor and factualness. I feel guilty. Almost as if you were making an unequivocal statement that the universe needed to adjust to.
and the universe is responding to that so a better statement would be I feel guilty and I don't mean to and I feel guilty and I want to let that go and I feel guilty and I know the disadvantage of feeling guilty and I feel guilty because it has my old habit and I feel guilty but I can produce new habits and I feel guilty but guilt is not natural to me and I know that what guilt is is my opinion is different than the opinion of my inner being I know that my inner beings lined up with the success of my business and I'm lined up with the worry of my business and so this guilt doesn't feel good to me I feel guidance I don't feel guilty I feel guidance I feel guidance that this thought is not helping in fact I feel so much guidance that this thought isn't helping that I'm not gonna think that thought as much anymore oh well maybe I will but I don't want to well at least I'm not gonna speak about it well maybe I will if there's enough momentum but I'm gonna look for moments when I'm not flowing that way in fact I'm gonna focus upon some other things I'm gonna find satisfaction in other areas of my life I'm gonna look for so many things to feel satisfied about that this guilty subject just doesn't have enough airtime within me I'm not gonna let myself feel guilty as much as I've been feeling guilty it's sort of my propensity to feel guilty I sort of wear the badge of honor about how guilty I feel I've been a sort of sacrificial person and feeling guilty somehow has been working for me out there in the physical mundane mediocre failing world but I realize that now I'm playing in a different game I've got success going for me and so I feel guilty about feeling guilty is because your guidance lets you know that feeling guilty is not productive so you don't feel guilty about your guilt you feel aware that it isn't helping you don't feel guilty about your guilt you feel aware that you're not moving in the direction of your desire that you're not in sync with your desire that you're out there on the raw and ragged edge and that you're not allowing the influence of source energy to affect you in that moment that's all that's all so what happens when you can't pay your bills and creditors are calling and there are all these things that are happening do you see what do you're you... doing do you see what you're doing you are trying to support the guilt that you feel well, you're no, trying to what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to say that I know I meditate every morning thank you very much blah blah I blah like all blah, of this. blah blah you keep talking about what you do not want and you can't get around that you got to stop doing that so what happens when I can't pay my bills you say we say first of all don't talk about it so I've got this reality Abraham that I have to face I have to face this reality this is a reality that I am facing and we say yeah we know that but you could you're not even trying yet you could find a different vibration about it try right now if you can ask the question and then you answer it I, how do I not carry the no, weight no no that's not the question the <clears throat> question is what do I do when I can't pay my bills that was the question what do I do when I can't pay my bills now answer it pay what I can keep trying work harder <laughs> <laughs> that's been what I've been doing though <laughs> that's all right but keep trying you're under the influence of that so that's all right what do I do when I can't pay my bills just hear this what are you gonna do what are you gonna do if you can't pay your bills what are you gonna do you're gonna not pay your bills and you're gonna have a choice about how you feel about that so you can not pay them and you can blame her you can blame you you can blame whatever you want to blame and get nowhere or you can not pay your bills and you can remember better times or you can lean toward things getting better you can't control the current reality because the current reality had momentum coming in it had momentum coming in and it is what it is so you can't control what that is but you can control or let's say curb your response to what is so I can't pay my bills but I could meditate I'm too worried to meditate I can't clear my mind I need to work harder instead of meditate just keep perpetuating that but I can't pay my bills but I can find satisfaction I can't pay my bills but I really appreciate this girl that came to play with me I can't pay my bills now it's even better if you get off that subject altogether there's this subject that has me worried and there's all these wonderful things I can go to Asheville I can spend some time with fun people I can against all odds get in the hot seat and have a conversation with infinite intelligence I can find the vibration of it I can acknowledge the reality of the vortex I can acknowledge that my business our business because our business is bigger than it has ever been because the contrast has made it bigger and I can acknowledge that when I line up with what it is it will be more than it has ever been which was the whole point of the expansion that I asked for 
I wasn't wrong to ask for expansion in the way that I did because expansion was inevitable I asked for expansion and I got expansion in that we spread out a little bit but I also got expansion in that it introduced resistance into my equation that caused me to launch more rockets of desire and my vortex version of my business is expanded and that's a good thing not a bad thing and I can catch up with that and it doesn't really matter what's going on right now I'm stable enough I know what to do we can work hard enough to keep ourselves stable we don't have to lose this business I know what to do I know what to do but at the same time that I am working maybe longer and harder and with more clarity I'm also finding vibrational stability with this bigger business I can't give up on my dream but I could give up resistance we're not asking you to give up your business we're asking you to give up your resistance we're asking you to give up your propensity to complain about it or to try to justify where you are by talking about what's going wrong you see everybody relative to everything that they have is in a place where it is improving and it doesn't matter how successful you feel that you are you could mess it up with the thought or you could enhance it with the thought doesn't matter whether you're a billionaire or a millionaire or whether you're just starting with a fledgling business or whether you're talking about a relationship or anything else it could get bigger it already is bigger you could lean toward the bigness of it or you could lean away from it you get to choose all of that and the reason we're talking so strong with you is because first of all you represent everybody else because everybody's doing a little bit of that but you have a propensity to want to explain it like it is that's what's going on with you right now and there's enough about what is that is satisfying if you got to explain it like it is then at least look for the things that are satisfying as you explain them you hear all of this aren't you yes so the universe won't let you down and your inner being has your back and your inner being knows what you want and your inner being knows how to get you from where you are to where you want to be but you've got to listen or feel for the impulses and you can't get there while you're talking about what is and it's not because source isn't telling you we're speaking to you as directly and as loudly as is appropriate under these conditions and you still can't actually hear us not quite yet but it isn't because we're not giving it everything we've got and it isn't because we don't know about the absolute success and magnitude of your business it's because you've got yourself in a vibrational place that is temporary and every day from this moment forward you're gonna release more of that and allow more of this it's just the way that it all works and there's gonna be a time not very far from now that you are going to enjoy or feel satisfaction over the desire that's in your belly even when it hasn't manifested most people have a hard time with that at first because you want to see it and then you want to have an emotional response to it we want you to use your mind to accomplish an emotional response of satisfaction and then you'll see it and we never say anything that we don't know to be we're not pretending that there's something there for you we know that there is it's yours to allow or to disallow and when you disallow you see all that guilt and all that pain and all that discomfort that you were explaining to us isn't about the actual business itself it's about you pinching yourself off from your own desire mm. now we're going to give you the most important statement of the entire weekend ready for it <laughs> you are the creation not your business yeah you're creating yourself to be the receiver the business is just the excuse you use to create you and that's why it's so upsetting when it feels like it's not working it feels like you're failing and you're not you're just step wanting a little longer than is comfortable that's all that's all that it is and can you imagine the euphoria you feel when you meditate and release that for a moment even before the business changes at all you're going to have lots of really good feeling moments and nothing is going to be visible to you yet because it's on its way down but when you realize that you're the creation then ho oh, then the moments that you feel good good for me and someone says oh you make a bunch of money today no I just feel good why <laughs> because I aligned with source energy what good is that it's everything it's everything because my connection to source energy is the propagation the creation the allowance of me I'm the creator of the creator of a business the business is irrelevant I'm the creator of the creation 
I'm the creator of the creation. I'm the creator and I'm the creation. And the business is just something I focus upon.